Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of one standard ranked ladder with our Obzon Rodadrobrick Legends deck. Basically with this list you just want to spam as many legendary creatures as you can and of course Rodadrobrick of Urborg. So whenever they die you get copies of them that are non-legendaries and still have all of the same really cool abilities. So all of our legendary creatures, we're going to be running Skrelv, Thalia, Jarena, Malira, Kingdarian, Glissa, Adeline, Lauren, Mondrak, Shelly, the Frog Queen, and Ao. We're going to run a couple Go for the Throats for removal, as well as Wandering Emperor. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's an aggressive legendary pile that is very resilient thanks to the Rada Drawbrick and Ao. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are excited to see this deck in action, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I'd really appreciate it. I've been uploading to YouTube every single day for the past 5 months, and I'm around 43% of the way towards getting partnered, so any help on this journey is really, really appreciated. With all that said, let's hop onto the ladder and see how this does. Alrighty, game 1. Uh, hand looks alright, it's a little slow. But we got some really good creatures. Let's keep it. We'll lead with the Sanctum, just in case we draw something like a go for the throat. We'll play the Brushland and Scrub. Bitter Reunion. Reanimator. Chandra. Well, that's. Kind of rude. Uh, deck doesn't have too many ways to deal with Chandra. I think we just go with Glissa. And we pass. Edict. And down goes Skrelv. So, opponent is most likely going to want to big score next turn, so I kind of want to play out Thalia, just to make sure they can't, unless they have a basic land. Let's attack. And we can blow up the Bitter Reunion, but they aren't going to be reanimating anything next turn, so I think we just draw here. Another Glissa. Let's play the land, and we'll pass. Yep, Shattered Sanctum enters tapped. Uh, well, we've got a second Glissa. Let's go with Skrelv. And I think we go with Shelly. We'll attack. Sack the Igonjo. Draw and gain two. Oops. Meant to hit thanks. Let's pass. So, probably repping an Emperor. I mean, we have the Skrelv to give Hex proof. So, uh, yeah, let's jam. We draw an Emperor. There is theirs. Now you've done they make a tapped samurai. Let do the so that's eight damage going through here. If we plus our emperor, that's nine. They draw. 
and they die. Let's go for it. GG's. Not too bad. Opponent forgot about the ETBs tapped, so uh, we were able to punish that. <laughs> Alrighty, next game. Uh, hand looks pretty solid. Let's keep it. We'll lead with the caves, and we pass. Right. Looking like mono red. We'll get Baseyu down and Malira. so they are at least stuck on two. Let's get down King Darien. Think we just take two here. And Kamano faces Kamsong. Here, blowing that up is pretty good. They're still stuck on the two. Obviously, I'd like to get Rada down, but I think taking that out is way more important. We'll get in for two, and we pass. If opponent wants to attack in with the Felden here, we'll take the trade with Lauren, I think. Since we do need to start preserving the life total. Um, okay. So, no land still. Perfect. Another Lauren. We'll go with Rada. Check from the opponent and an adversary. In with everybody. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't want to get too low. I think we just sack Darien. We'll block there and there. Land adversary. They take their land. Let's play the caves. Out of line. And scrub. We'll get in four six with vigilance. And we make a two two. And we have lethal on board, so let's see what opponents got. Devastator for three. Yep. <laughs> That's the game. GG's. Alrighty, next game. Unfortunately gonna have to throw this one back. All four drops is not what we're looking for. We'll keep that. I think we just put back a go for the throat. We're gonna be on the play, so we're gonna be the beat down. We'll go Jarena into Adeline, I think. Oh, 
opponent's gonna play out a Skrelv, which is fine. Let's get the Plaza down and the Adeline. In for three. And we pass. Anointed Peacekeeper from the opponent is a little bit annoying, but Adeline can at least attack through that. Uh, we can play the King Darien if they don't tax that. I mean, we can at least play something next turn, so it's not the end of the world. I'm assuming they tax Darien. Well, they went with Glissa, so they are going to take some beats next turn. coming in. Nope, 13. Adeline goes up. Down to 6. Let's pass. Sigarda. I mean, she's not bad, but, uh, you're facing down a little bit much. Back to us. Alright, I think we just have lethal here. So if we attack, we make an extra creature. Adeline goes to 6 power, so they're forced to block. They block Jarena, and that's 2, 4, 6. Alright, hopefully I am not just bad at math here. She doesn't have first strike, so yeah, GG's. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching, I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.